welcome to PurseBuds.com. Today I'm going to show you how to So I'm just going to use a couple of mauve colors, some brown, something really natural and I'm going to show you how to do this whole entire complete bridal look from start to finish. Sit back, relax, take some notes and if you have any questions write it down in the comments and I will do my best to answer them. The very first thing you're going to do for this look is to draw on your eyebrows. So you can use a powder or you can use a pencil. I'm just going to be using my Anastasia Brow Definer. So this is really easy. You've got the pencil on one side and the gel on the other. And I'm just going to draw small check marks. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually fill in the middle portion first and then I'm going to shape it after. So I'm drawing little check marks to kind of simulate hair. What I'm going to do is just take this little brush right here and just kind of diffuse it a little bit and soften any of the harsh lines. Then I'm going to apply some gel to it to make sure that it's doesn't look all tacky and sparse right there. So on this part right here, I'm going to lift it up and then I'm just going to lift it up the whole way. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to apply a primer to your eye to make sure that your eyeshadow stays all day because through a lot of smiles and tears of joy, you're going to want to make sure that your eyeshadow stays in place. Now if you haven't done so, best thing is to put a little bit of moisturizer around your eye area first. You can use, I like to use my Clarins moisturizer. Since this is a bridal look and there's SPF in it, which means it'll give you that white look, then you're going to want to skip that and just do some moisturizer that doesn't have any SPF in it. I'm just going to wait for that to dry so that my eyeshadow doesn't clump up. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is use a really natural color, a color that's like your skin tone. And so I'm going to be using NYX's color in highlight and it has a yellow base to it. So I'm just going to apply a little bit right here, right underneath the brow bone. And it has to be absolutely matte. You don't want any shimmer or any color to that. And I'm just going to apply just a little bit right here. I'll powder it down there. So we're going to go right underneath that brow bone, right underneath that eyebrow. And this will really help open up your eyes. So you can barely see it, but it actually just mattifies your eyes and it helps accentuate your eyebrows. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to apply a really light color to our lid. And the light color that you want to apply is going to fall right here in the middle. And with the photography, you want something with a little shimmer here because then it'll just kind of make your eyes twinkle a little bit. So that's a really cool trick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be using Max Floof. That's a typical color. That's probably something you've looked at or seen. And I'm going to use the other side of that brush. And I'm just going to apply just a little bit right here. Another really pretty color that you could apply is motif, like maybe if you have blue eyes or green eyes, colored eyes, something like this, like an opposite color. That's still very neutral, is really pretty too. That makes your eyes pop. It's just right in the center. Okay, so the next color I'm going to use is going to be a taupey brown, like a medium color. And this is going to be absolutely matte. There's no shimmer, no shine, no satin to it. And what I'm doing is I'm going to be using my Colsa Set C39 Stiff Brush. Looks like the 224 from MAC, but just a little bit shorter. It just picks up just a little bit more color. The color I'm going to be using is MAC's Rich Flesh. Looks like this. I don't know if it's a limited edition or not, but just look for something like this. A little bit of a medium color. I'm going to apply it just to the outside. Just like that. And I'm going to go up on over my floof and I'm going to wrap it around floof just like that. And that's going to create a little bit of a crease. Now if you don't have a crease or you don't want to accentuate that and you just want to have a little bit of depth, again do the same exact thing. You don't have to exactly you know, follow your crease but just a little bit above your lash line, halfway through. We're going to go for a very nice soft daytime bridal look. And the good thing is this color is very soft and very simple. You can see that right there. What it does is it's helping define your lids and really help bring out that pop with the floof in your eye. The thing about bridal makeup is that you want to find that balance between really good pictures and really good look for in person. So that's why it's really good to stick with those matte colors, browns, darker browns, a little bit of charcoal, not too much black. Okay, the next color I'm going to be using is a dark matte chocolate brown and it's called Handwritten and it's also by MAC. I'm going to be using my matte colors because I know those colors are probably the most easiest to obtain but this again is just a nice warm chocolate brown. 
And I'm going to use that same brush. I'm just going to get a little bit on the tip. And I'll apply just a little bit right here. Create a little bit of depth and dimension to your eye. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take an angle brush. So you can grab that right now. Now if you don't have an angle brush, you could use a brush like this. This one right here is from, that there. This one right here is from Crown Brush. And then the angle brush that I have right here is from Coastal Scent. So it's like $2, very inexpensive. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. What you're going to do is you're going to drag it just a little bit. You don't want anything dramatic. You just want to keep it right in the lines right here. So you're going to just take whatever you have and you're going to move it along to move it up. And this is going to define your color, give you a little bit of extra dimension, but not being over the top. Grab a little bit more if you need to. Okay, now you're going to go back in and reapply a little bit of that highlight color. You're going to enhance that, so I'm just going to go back in and take some. And I'm going to soften this line right here. You're almost done. It's a very, very simple look, and I like it for brides, and I actually like it for prom too, because I think that sometimes you just want your dress to stand out, or you want your lashes to stand out and I think for occasions like that it's very classic and it's very pretty to have lashes or like your dress stand out. Again if it's like a nighttime then you can go a little bit darker and if you want a little bit of a rose you can add just a little bit right there and I'll do that right now. Okay I'm going to take a little bit of pen and pink. Pen and pink is like a soft baby pink. It's again matte. I'll take this little brush right here. Since it's really easy to control I'm just going to add just a little pink right here. And that's the color that I'm going to use on my lips too. So it's going to be a nice little match. And then I'm going to apply my eyeliner. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a liquid eyeliner. So I'm going to use my Eve Pearl liquid liner because I don't want it to smear and I don't want it to go anywhere. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start from the middle. And I'm going to go outward. I'm going to fill in the line. Eve Pearl's pen is very, very fine. And so you kind of have to work it in there if you want a little thicker line. And depending on how your eyelids are, you may only need a thin line, but you may need a thicker line if, when you open your eyes and the liner kind of disappears. And I'm going to kind of wedge it between my lashes too, kind of thicken them up a little bit. Then I'm going to take that remaining color and I'm just going to drag it in ever so lightly. Okay, then I'm going to go back in and get that handwritten, that really dark char charcoal brown. And I'm going to apply it right on top to seal in the liner. And if you're going to draw a little flick at the end, you want to make sure that it goes upward. And that adds just a little bit of drama to your eyes like that. I'm going to lighten it up just a bit. I'm not big on flicks for weddings. Here we go. And then for the bottom, I'm going to line my eyes with a waterproof eyeliner. I'm going to use a dark, dark brown. And the brown that I'm using is Brown Border by MAC. And it's a coal, and I'm only going to apply it just to this point right here. I want to keep my eyes nice and wide and bright. Again, you're going to seal it with that dark brown. You're going to wipe this down, and you're going to apply your natural color right here. Just so that there's a seamless transition over to your inner corner. So the next thing you want to do is apply your mascara. Or if you want to, you could darken this up just a little bit, depending on your dress style and what your particular look is. But I like to keep it really neutral like this because I'm on the camera right now and you can see the color. So you're going to be able to see the color in pictures as well as in person. So I'm going to apply a waterproof mascara. And this is actually Flirt Lashadelic, which is technically it comes off with warm water, but it doesn't just come off. So I'm going to apply that. I really don't like waterproof mascaras, but you know, on these special days, you really should wear a waterproof mascara. Now, if you're worried about hitting your eyelid, what you could do is you can use a sponge. Let me show you how to do that right now. This is a really great trick for even every day. Just wedge this thing here and apply. And it follows the contour of the sponge too gives you a little bit of a lift and if you're gonna curl your lashes you should probably curl them first don't curl it after you put your mascara on because you risk breaking your lashes 
Okay, you could do the same thing with the bottom and just apply it. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna apply eyelashes. Since I have very, very short eyelashes, I wanna keep it natural and kinda of make my eyes bigger. So I'm gonna apply only a half strip of lashes right here. And I'm gonna be using Eve Pearls. So what I've done is I've just snipped it in half and I'm gonna spread one right here and then one over here. This is the 102. What you wanna do is look for something that's short and sparse so that when you put it up against your lashes, it'll look very natural. If you're looking for something a little dramatic, then apply something that's a little more with a longer, but something that has like every other longer, short, long, short. Maybe even the MAC number sevens are good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my dual glue. And I usually like to use, lately I've been loving, is my dual eyelash glue in black, but I can't find it, so I'm gonna use this one right here. Get the one that says dual and says eyelash adhesive because it makes it so much easier. What you're gonna do is you're just gonna line it and you're gonna put it on. The long lashes go on the outside so put on the glue and then just kind of, while it's drying, take the time to kind of curve it and shape it so that it'll just sit right there on your eyes. You want to make sure that the glue, you've got enough glue on each end so that it doesn't kind of peel and roll up as the day goes on. Once you feel that it's tacky enough, just place it where you want it to go. Just like that. And I'm going to flip it up just a little bit dry it's not going to dry droopy and I'm not going to have crazy Miss Piggy lashes. Take the back of it and I'm just going to press down. Then I'm going to go back in and run the mascara, weave them together and lengthen these right here, the inner corner ones. If your lashes are too long compared to your real ones then you could apply some individual ones right here so that it gradually goes from short, medium and then the longer fluttery lashes at the end. So right now I'm applying some short lashes and I'm just using my Ardell short lashes. And all you gotta do is just take one, stick it in the glue. You just take one, stick it in the glue, and then apply it where you want. Now with the individual false lashes, you wanna wait for them to completely dry before you mess with it. I mean, wait for it to be tacky before you start moving it around, because right now, it doesn't have much to hold on to, so it's a little difficult. Then I like to just take this, kind of push them up together, take a clean wand, and brush them through. You don't want to put mascara on these individual ones, or too much mascara, because then it becomes really fake and it's just kind of really spider looking like. Because these are fake lashes and they're ready dramatic on their own. 